Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to celebrate the white button down. Yes, that's right. It's one of the classic pieces that everyone should have in their wardrobe. And surprisingly, it and the black turtleneck are my go-to pieces that I just can't get enough of. Every season I'm looking for that new white shirt that's crisp and nice and this time I think I've really found a good one. And if you're not a subscriber and you like all things fashion and anti-aging and makeup and beauty and just all that girly girly stuff, then I hope you'll consider subscribing and click that little bell so you won't miss any of my videos. I do videos on Wednesday and Saturday and sometimes Mondays. Now, this video is going to be all about styling the white shirt, and it is so funny because I decided that I would do this video, and then I started looking around on YouTube to see what other YouTubers had done the video, and I realized that one of my favorite people ever did a video about this, and I'm going to link it below, and if you haven't seen Erin Busby's channel, it's called Busby Style. She is phenomenal, and I totally recommend you go over there, tell her hi, and subscribe to her channel. I think she is just fabulous, and she also did this same video and it is so funny because even though we both were styling the white button-down classic shirt her video was actually very different than mine she is in her 40s and so that's probably why her style is a little more young and trendy whereas I'm a little more old and <laughs> dusty I don't know well maybe not old and dusty that's negative but I'm a little more classic I would say and not quite so much into the younger trends and one of the main things that really surprised me is that we had gone after the same white shirt actually my sister had been encouraging me to look around on Amazon to find clothes and so I always go and look for the clothes and look for the five-star clothes and this little Calvin Klein shirt, this no iron shirt, was one of the five star shirts on Amazon. And Erin had used this exact same shirt, so I thought it was very important to link to her video and let you see her take on it. And for those of you who aren't familiar with Erin, she's young, she's beautiful, she's very, very good with style. And I also feel like we're kind of similar in that we both have kind of blonde hair that we wrestle with. And we both have this little buff thing that we sometimes put on the top of our head. Because I don't know about her, but I feel like my face is kind of round and I need some more height. And Erin kind of does that same thing too. I think every woman needs a classic white button down in their wardrobe. It's just one of those workhorses that you can go to for work or play. Very versatile little item. I particularly like this one because it is a no iron shirt, although it has a few wrinkles because this one I literally just pulled out of the mail. And I like it because it is not hugely long. It just hits you maybe about maybe five or six inches below the hip. So it's not too long, not too short, really like that. It is tailored here so that it comes in and cuts you in on the waist, which is really nice. And one thing I especially like about this shirt is these fabulous cuffs. Look how long they are. Now you can double them up as I have done here. I really like that look, but I also like it when you just leave them hanging. I can't really explain what the look is, but it's just kind of cool and kind of like you're walking along in London or something like that. Just a really kind of a cosmopolitan vibe. Now the first couple of looks I'll be showing you are for the workplace, and it is the classic way that you would imagine a white button-down shirt to be styled. The first way is with a blazer, and in this case I have a long gray tone blazer, and I am not able to find that blazer anymore, so I linked a good one below. It's a beautiful black option because the gray ones that I found were too expensive. And I paired the blazer with these wonderful NYDJ Maryland pants, absolutely love these I got these at Nordstrom's and they were slightly on sale but really the price on them right now is really very good but these are a slightly flared pant and it is a ponte knit that is very very thick and really it covers your bumps and bulges but yet it still holds you in absolutely love this and for the shoes I paired it with this Vince Camuto Akasha pump I absolutely love this. Look at the line of this. This is the new line. Actually, it's retro back to the 60s, but it has this dip in the front that I really love. I love the suede. I really like these shoes to wear with slightly short pants because since this vamp is so high here, it actually makes it look like your pants are a little longer because you're not seeing an open foot here. And on this outfit, I especially like the crispness of the collar and the fact that the white cuffs show. Now the second office look that I've styled involves a pencil skirt 
And this is a midi pencil skirt because as we get to be a little more grown up, sometimes we like to have our knees covered, like to have our thighs covered, certainly, at least I do. I really like the way a knit skirt kind of easily flows over your hips and just kind of covers all the bumps and bulges. And sometimes I think it helps to pump up the look to add a wonderful statement belt. And this is one that I had in my closet. This is a Michael Kors black leather belt. Absolutely love this one. I looked around for this online and was not able to find it because I bought it several years ago. But I have linked another Michael Kors belt below and it is not a bad price point for something that gives you a look like this. And to finish it off, I've used these Leith pumps. I've been wearing these for the last few days at work and actually they're very comfortable. It's very, very surprising. I like it that the heel doesn't slant in the way it did a few years ago. It is basically straight up and down for the most part. And I also like it that the vamp is a little bit higher than some of them, so you're not seeing toe cleavage. I just think it gives your foot a beautiful slender look and these are very comfortable. Next, we're going to take the white shirt to the casual side. And in fact, we're getting very casual with these Eugenia pants. Actually, they're called the Mogan on Amazon. Absolutely love these, and they're under $30, so it's an amazingly good buy. These just fit beautifully. They have a lot of spandex in them, and they really just fit like a glove. They just hold you in in all the right places. And while they are distressed, they're not super distressed. Hi there. And then I've added this Chloe knockoff, and that's what it is actually, but it is on Amazon, and I think it's less than $40. And I saw Angie of Hot and Flashy, and she ordered this and absolutely loved it. And of course, I had to overdo, so I ordered it in the pink and the beige, but I absolutely love this little bag. It's, it's truly darling. It doesn't hold a lot, but hey, if you look good, who cares? Now in the next casual look for this white shirt, I have styled it with this BP scarf, which I absolutely love. I got this during the Nordstrom sale. I love the brand BP, very, very high quality, and yet it's under $20. This is a fabulous little scarf, and I'm going to wear the heck out of it. And then I've used these NYDJ Ponty Knit Pants again, which just give you a nice flow, absolutely covers all the bumps and bulges, fantastic pants. And instead of using a black heel, I've gone in with this Vince Camuto nude heel. Absolutely love this, and I'll put the link below. I think these were only $69, which to me is a really good deal. I got them at DSW, which is a great place to save $20 or $30 a pair on designer shoes. But I particularly like these, and I've worn them for a couple of days now. They felt a little tight at first, but now they really just feel good. They feel almost like a kid skin glove on your foot or something like that. But I really like the fact that they have a little bit of a different pattern here. I like the unique shape. And this pointy toe and the general shape of the shoe just makes your foot look long and lean, and your whole body looks slimmer. Now in my next styling, I've stayed casual. And what I've done is introduce kind of a winter element, so you could not wear this for a few months, but this is a wonderful little gray and brown wool scarf. It has a little bit of black in it. And for the pant, I've gone in with this Vince Camuto Twill Skinny. And as you can see, they're long and lean, and they're not super skinny, but they're just a very graceful, nice, skinny leg. And again, what I love about this material is it's a nice, thick twill, and so it really does cover up your bumps and bulges and make everything look smooth and uniform. And to keep it casual, instead of a heel, I've gone in with this Vince Camuto gray booty. It's a suede booty, and I absolutely love the detail on the side here, how it cuts down. That's a real trendy thing right now. I love the little lace-ups on each side. It adds a little texture. I love the chunky wooden block heel here, and I love the rounded toe. Now, in my last styling of the shirt, I'm going casual again, and I'm going less expensive. I have gone to Amazon and found some fabulous little jeans here. These are the clingers, and they come in junior sizing, so I'm a size 7 there. But look at these. I don't know if you can see that, but they're distressed all the way down on both sides. I can't see it here. I hope that you can see it. But there's several distressings here. And again, the thing I love about these jeans is they have just enough spandex to really hold you in. They absolutely fit just beautifully. And I've used a small belt, which I think just sets things off nicely. And again, I've gone in with this Vince Camuto nude pump. I absolutely love these shoes. And you know, I didn't mean to buy so much Vince Camuto, but most of the shoes I've shown you tonight are Vince Camuto, and I find that it's a reasonably priced brand, but it has really good quality. Now, I found a wonderful bargain that I wanted to share with you, and I'll begin by saying that normally I wear this little formal Rolex, and I really like that watch. However, the trend right now is to go for the larger faces in the watches, so I wanted something that would be trendy, but that wouldn't cost a lot of money, and boy did I ever find it. And actually, 
Normally I bought not one watch, but two watches. <laughs> that is typically how I work. But here is the large face Ellen Tracy watch. And as you can see, it looks kind of like the Rolex because it is two-tone, which makes it very, very versatile. And this watch is, guess, drum roll please, $19.99 at Steinmart. And so I'm going to put the link below and I think this thing should sell out because I think it is wonderful. And because this watch is so formal, I also got one that could be worn with jeans. In fact, I'll go ahead and take this formal one off and I will go ahead and show you both watches so you can get an idea of how they look. And they were each $19.99, which is a tremendous deal. You do have to take them to a jeweler though and have them sized. Those are those two watches. You have the informal one here and the more formal one there. But again, it has that wonderful trendy large face and I like the fact that they're both kind of mother of pearl looking. It's probably fake mother of pearl for $19.99. And I will link them below if you'd like to learn more about them. And if you're not a subscriber and you'd like to learn more about the things we do here at 50 Plus Beauty, uh, let's see, it's you thing, makeup, skincare, and bargains. In fact, I'm going to be having a wonderful video coming up showing you all of my great bargain jeans from Old Navy, and they are phenomenal. And if you would like to get email notification, all you have to do is subscribe. Just click that little bell, and you'll get an email from me every time I post a video. Okay, let's go ahead and see what power thoughts we can think of today. Ooh, I love that. My income is consistently increasing. My income is consistently increasing. I begin now today to open myself to ever increasing prosperity. Oh God, thank you. That is a fantastic card. And you know, this is a great affirmation for us all because I truly believe that the things we say to ourselves and the things that we say to others, our words and our thoughts have power. And one way we can increase our prosperity is to really start affirming this. My income is constantly increasing. My income is constantly increasing. So friends, just for today, let's practice prosperity. Let's remember that our income is constantly increasing and let's open ourselves to ever increasing prosperity. Take care. See you next time.